So Greg, you uh, run a fifth generation farm there in Kansas. You know, corn, soybeans, wheat, alfalfa, beef, that kind of stuff. But on top of all of that work, uh, you became a social media advocate. Uh, tell me, first of all, what, what, what social media do you use? Um, well, we got started, you know, with Facebook and, and YouTube and Twitter, and, and we've branched out to things like Instagram and Google Plus and, and those kind of things. And we try to use basically everything we're comfortable using. There comes a point where you're doing too much. So it is a bit of a general question, but of all the social media you use, which one do you think has been the most effective? Um, in our case, I think Facebook, um, is, as far as posting content goes, I love Facebook because you can post links, you can post video, you can post pictures. Um, you know, there's just so many things you can. It's it's a lot more flexible than some of the other ones. And um, I don't know. I think just Facebook's my favorite just because of the audience that we have and uh, just being able to post from my phone. I mean, I don't have the time to be posting from a computer, and so it's very mobile friendly. Now, one of the things you did that probably does take a fair bit of time is you created a bunch of music videos, parodies essentially of popular music. Uh, tell me a little bit about how that story evolved and what the results have been. Yeah, so three years ago in June of 2012, we made our first music video parody um, and it was called I'm Farming and I Grow It. When I'm up at seven, the sunrise gives me a glimpse of heaven. I get right to work, a farmer's life can be a little berserk, yeah. This is how I roll, I feed the cattle till their stomachs are full. True and right, that's my belief, what's for dinner? I say beef. I'm farming and I grow it. We made that video um, just hope, hoping to use it as a tool to show to our friends, to just show them what we actually do on the farm. I mean, they've always been curious slash you know kind of looking yeah. down on it like surely it's not that cool or like you know and, and I was you know I just wanted to convince them that, yeah. that just the reality of how it is and and uh, so we made the video posted it and it turned out way better than we thought it would for one and then the the audience that ended up watching it um, it went it went viral as they say um, on the internet and it was shared by thousands and millions of people and we got five million views in a week and ever since then we've continued to make YouTube videos and um, just do our best to to show people what farming and agriculture is like through music and video and just having fun. Now as of the recording of this I checked the other day and I think one of your videos is at about 16 million so that's fairly viral for just about anything. What do you think though when someone watches that music video of some farm guys out there feeding their beef cattle and you know singing you know changing the lyrics to these songs and stuff like, have you ever thought about what is the effect who, who does that reach what is the message you know what i'm saying like I, I, how do you measure its effectiveness well i you know i think most of our viewership comes from farmers or okay. people who are interested in farming i mean that's who watches videos about farming right and uh, we're we're comfortable with that i mean we we enjoy providing entertainment um to to, to people around the world and also the youth um, that's a huge part of, of why we're doing what we're doing is to, to give the youth something to be excited about. There's a lot of kids, a lot of students who, who really, really enjoy and I think are inspired by what we're doing. Uh, but at the same time, we reach a lot of people outside of agriculture. And that's, you know, from the beginning, that was our goal was to, you know, show our friends what farming was actually like. I would say it's, I mean, this is just just throwing it out, probably 75, 25, okay. uh, with the 25% being people not involved in agriculture. When, and when you think 35 million views, you know that's still a lot of people. 25% of that's a lot of uh, of outreach. You've got a whole bunch of other pieces we haven't talked about. You've, apparently, you got uh, T-shirts and bumper stickers and calendars, and you even have a blog that you do, which kind of handles what I would call some of the heavy duty kind of lifting. Um, with that blog, for instance, uh, tell me about what you do in there and, and, and do you feel the need as a farmer to defend yourself? Yeah, so the blog was started about a year ago and it, it ever since the first video, um, I mean, I remember we were getting questions and, and comments on our, our social media that I didn't even know how to answer and I was like, you know, that's, you know, that's crazy. I should be able to answer these questions. And so um, we started the blog with the intent of, of not being afraid to tackle an issue. If, if someone asks a farmer a question and they, and they kind of shrink back and don't want to answer it, I don't think that's a good sign. And so I think every farmer should be conscious of, of why he does what he does and why he uses the tools that he uses. And that's what we started the blog for. 
um, not just as, as a place for people to come and read about what we believe, but as a reference for farmers to even read it and think about, oh, okay, so that's why, you know, that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. And, um, you know, we tackle issues there like GMOs, animal welfare, chemical usage, um, some of the things that are a little more touchy. And, um, you know, people, you know, it's fine if people disagree with, with what we think, but we want people to be informed and we want people to, to get the accurate information about those topics because I feel on the internet it's very one-sided a lot of times um, in the opposition of those. So finally, if, if people are interested to check you guys out and what you're about, what, what do you, what's the best way to do that? Well, like I said, our, our Facebook page is the most constant um, information source. We post twice a day. We try okay. to post twice a day there. Um, we also have Twitter, um, Greg Peters. Greg Peterson 33, NPete Pete 16, K Merle 7, and uh, they all they make sure I say their Twitter handles. Oh, so yeah. They get mad at me if I get Probably more, just if I get website, more followers than them. Yeah, so our website, uh, petersonfarmbros.com, has links to all of those things. Sure. And so that is the the hub, technically, but our, you know, our Facebook page right. um, is more active. So. Thanks for telling us your stories. It's entertaining. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Appreciate it.